We'll continue to talk about the trade ceasefire. Futures surging after the U.S. and Canada. Excuse me. China agreed to postpone additional tariffs. The world's two largest economies now have about three months of negotiations to work out their trade disputes. President Trump tweeting last night on concessions made by China, writing this, quote, China has agreed to reduce and remove tariffs on cars coming into China from the U.S. Currently, the tariff is 40 percent. Joining me now is former Florida congressman and author of the book, Hold Texas, Hold the Nation, Victory or Death, retired U.S. Army Lieutenant Colonel Alan West. Colonel, good to see you this morning. What do you make of this truce? Again, it's a truce. It's a 90-day negotiation, and there is much to tackle for the United States, including the forced surrender of technology by China, the theft of intellectual property. It's not just about tariffs and the trade deficit. Well, it's good to be with you, and good morning, Dagan, and everyone on the panel. Well, the thing that we have to come to understand, and it's pretty interesting that we are remembering President George H.W. Bush, was because during his tenure, you had the collapse of the Soviet Union. You had the wall that came down. But what that was was an economic collapse. And what China learned was that if you're going to be a Chinese country, you must be able to compete in a free market or a free enterprise economic system, and you can still bolster yourself. And what we have seen China do with their uh, forced transfer of technology and the theft of intellectual uh, property is that they are using free market principles, but yet they're building up their military. Mm -hmm. And so I think that China has found out that they have a president with resolve that is confronting them and realizing they're a hostile adversary, and they want to be able to come to the table to resolve this. And we have to resolve this with China because they are expanding themselves militarily. And to that point, Colonel, the Wall Street Journal writes the, about the irritants in our relationships, China's claims to and construction of islands in the South China Sea, mm -hmm. high priorities for the Pentagon and national security officials here, which aren't on the U.S. negotiating agenda and show little prospect of near-term resolution, even if a trade deal is reached. It's hard to separate the economic versus the military because they're all tied in together. No, you're absolutely right, and we can't separate those. As a matter of fact, China right now is sea testing its first domestically built aircraft carrier, and they're starting to build on their second aircraft carrier. And you talked about those islands that they're building in the South China Sea. They're fortifying those with military uh, weaponry, and one of the important things is they are using surface-to-ship missiles are being put there. And uh, that's one of the major sea lanes of commerce where they are putting these islands. So once again, that is going to affect global economic uh, transit. Colonel Mitch Rochelle is here. Mitch. Colonel, Colonel, good morning. One of the things good that morning, is Mitch. is good morning. One of the things that's mentioned in the uh, statement that came out from uh, the administration deals with North Korea, and I'm curious to get your sense on, from a negotiating perspective, what are some of the things that may be on the table for trading, you know, back and forth, uh, negotiating around North Korea, and how the Chinese can continue to help there. Well, without a doubt, we know that China has been violating a lot of those United Nations uh, sanctions against North Korea, and they're continuing to provide them trade. Look, North Korea does not exist without Chinese support, and we know that very, uh, very firmly. So we need to make sure that the Chinese understand that the threats that we see emanating out of North Korea, those have to end as well. But China has used North Korea to keep us tied up, very much so, chasing our tail, uh, dealing with Kim Jong-un and previous uh, dictators. 